And then she goes, yeah. this was literally where she was standing. At and then she pops up for like a sip. Hello? That's the really Lisa. Stop. That was clear. That, that was, was really clear. Stop. That was the clearest day. Alice, can you make that beep for us? You just have to thank you. You can find peace though. Which hides the... Stairs like shook. Experience oh enough to get her out of Did it. Did that keep going off? You were not like thinking of the way We begin with a disturbing development in the search for a young Vancouver woman in Los Angeles. Nearly three weeks after Elisa Lam went missing, a body has been found in a water tank on the roof of her hotel. This is what it looks like at the Cecil Hotel in L.A. This morning, someone complained about the water pressure at the hotel. When a worker went to investigate, he found the body inside. This is the latest chapter in the hotel's dark, storied history. It was a place where the desperate ended it all. The Cecil Hotel first opened its doors in 1927. It was designed to be a luxurious place for business travelers and tourists. Two years later, the United States entered the Great Depression. The first reported death at the Cecil Hotel was on November 19, 1931, when a man committed suicide. Since then, over a dozen other deaths, suicides, overdoses, and murders have taken place at the hotel, which slowly turned into a place of crime and violence. One woman even tossed her newborn baby out of the window after giving birth in the bathroom not knowing that she was pregnant. Another woman jumped to her death and landed on a pedestrian walking by, killing him. From June 1984 to August 1985, Richard Ramirez, also known as the Night Stalker, terrorized Los Angeles while staying at the Cecil Hotel. He stayed on the 14th floor, and in 1985, he was convicted of 13 counts of murder, 5 attempted murders, and 11 sexual assaults. It is unclear how many of these victims were killed in his hotel room. Later, in 1991, serial killer Jack Unterweger checked into the Cecil Hotel. During his stay, he is said to have killed at least three people. That brings us to one of the most mysterious deaths that happened at the hotel. On January 26, 2013, 21-year-old Canadian student Elisa Lamb checked into the Cecil Hotel. She was originally staying in a hostel-style room with other roommates, but when the staff began getting complaints of odd behavior, she was moved into a room by herself. Later, on January 31st, Elisa was declared missing. Then, three weeks later, on February 19th, guests began complaining about the low pressure and taste of water in their rooms. When they went to check the water supply, Elisa's body was found floating inside a closed water tank on the hotel's roof. The coroner then declared the death an accidental drowning, however, the facts just don't add up. First off, the roof door alarm was never triggered. Second, the lid of the water tank was very heavy. Third, the hole of the tank was too small for her to just jump in. Not to mention, the lid of the water tank was somehow closed when her body was found. It is believed by many people that she was murdered and her killer is still somewhere out there. Her odd behavior was explained by her being in a manic-like state, but what really happened to Elisa Lamb? Hey Kelcats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. I am here with Joey Official. How you guys doing? We are going into the Cecil Hotel. Finally, you have no idea how long I have wanted to film inside of the Cecil Hotel or just go inside and experience it. So I am just super excited. There's a Smash lot of- the like button. Yeah, guys. This is, this is insane. Like we are here at, in Skid Row in the middle of the night. We're risking a lot to be here, so please give that like button a nice little tap for me. There's a lot of dark history at the Cecil Hotel, and we're gonna see if any spirits want to come through, if any, if I connect with any spirits. Uh, last time we were here, we were actually standing outside of the Cecil, and I had a couple spirits come to me. I believe one of them may have been Elisa Lamb, because it was a woman, and she told me to stay away from the fifth floor, which I didn't understand until 
until we looked it up after. She also said I wasn't alone and he followed me in. So I was thinking Elisa Lamb because apparently she resided on the fifth floor and I had no idea. For some reason I thought it was the top floor, but I guess, was that the last floor she was seen? Uh, she stayed in two rooms. She did. The first one she shared was the fourth floor. Okay. And I think the second one she was transferred to alone was the fifth floor. Really? Yeah, top floors are Richard Ramirez at oh, the 15th that's right. floor. Yeah. That's right. I think she was last seen, like in that elevator footage, I think that was on the 14th floor. Yeah, which is, which is insane because we're about to go to the actual elevator. And that she was last yeah, seen in. It's just so chilling, just so dark. It is, it is very dark. I remember I did a video on it like a few years ago. I was really oh, young man. doing a video on this actually and I just didn't think I would be here. So I hope that maybe we can find some answers. Maybe we can help solve what happened to her or you know, I don't know if she'll come through or what's gonna happen, but I can't believe we're going in, bro. You've been wanting to come here for a for while. For a long time. Like a while. Like, like a long time. Yeah. And today we got the opportunity. Today's the day. <laughs> there she is. Oh my gosh. Hotel Cecil. Low daily weekly rates. Whoa, my camera's getting all blurry. I feel like he maybe worked here at some point. He's a very tall man. There's a man with me right now. Yeah, he's kind of greeting us, like, in a weird way. Like, he's kind of weird. No offense, man. Like, he's kind of giving me a really weird vibe. But he was kind of greeting us in a way, like, kind of like, welcome, you know? <laughs> I'm here with the Mackenzie. Why do you think they put the glass up? Maybe. It looks like someone ran into the glass. This man had an injury to the side of his head right here. I think he got hit with something on his temple. I don't know if he was killed outside here or what, but I know he worked here and he was killed. So I don't know if he was killed here or if he was just killed and came back, but right here is like pressure, like someone hit him. A lot of murders here. Yeah, a lot. and a lot of uncounted murders. Mm -hmm. Like they don't even, know all of them. What is that? I can't believe we're in here. I can't. You guys ready to go? Yeah. It just gets heavier. Oh my god. like specific like my neck it almost feels like
uncomfortable. You can see me shaking, guys. Like, <laughs> it's okay. No, it's like, like it feels like my throat is being cut. Yeah, multiple people died here by having their throat slit open. Multiple people. on this floor like she is like I don't know I don't know what it is bad though like she's stuck yeah. one more floor is Lisa Lamb I think first room first room where she was uh, fourth floor this is where Lisa Lamb Which one did Elisa? Well, let's call the elevator real quick. I feel like it was that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. This, this is where Elisa Lamb was last seen. Yeah, she was hiding in this corner. Like, yeah. That's the camera. That's the camera. Yeah, that's that the camera that caught her. And guys, there's no, there's no number 13. Just skips to 12 to 14. Yeah, that's usually how they are because they're usually superstitious. Door hold. Wait. Hey, let me tell you something. She hit B, not door hold. And if you guys know in the video, she presses all these numbers and the door doesn't shut. No, it shuts a little bit, then it opens and you see this dark figure walk in with her. What? She was trying to shut the door, right? I don't know what she was trying to do. It she, was just. She went boom, boom, boom. Yeah, boom. and the door didn't shut. It was like she was talking to someone, I'm and her arm oh, yes. like was making weird movements, and you see this dark figure come in as the elevator is like trying to shut. You see it open, and you see this dark figure with her. And yeah, it looks like there's something in the there's, elevator with her. Yeah. It's just like bad luck to have mirrors facing each other like that. Mm -hmm. Just, just look at this. Imagine, imagine this. She walks in right, and then she's like hiding, looking she's out. Like, and then she goes, yeah. this was literally where she was standing like that. And then she pops out for like a second. Looks like yeah, and then yeah she's she like, looks. And she goes like this. Yeah, she pops out. Nothing. And then boom. Stand, stands back. And then goes like this. Yeah. I've watched that clip. Yeah, so many I mean, times. I can't believe this is the spot. Like, this is it. I'm standing where Lisa Lamb was. I think we should go to the fifth floor. Not using the elevator. Why? This, this elevator is so rusty and old. <laughs> you like doing things like that. I don't. I'll take the safe Let's route. Do it, no, don't. I swear to God. Can we stay in the If you get stuck in here, man, I'm going to have a panic attack. We'll be okay. Wait, but I did hit the door hold button for a really long ass time. Alright, so I think we should stay there. Wait, wait. Oh my God. I should think all she had to do was click that button. She wasn't in her right mind. I think it was definitely, you know, manic. But I do think. There were things in here that influenced some dark things. And this whole place is identical. There's a woman over here. And they all, none of these rooms have bathrooms. So they all share. All these floors share. Um, Dark hair. I thought it was her and she was like this tall, like super tall. Yeah, at least it was like that tall. Like, yeah. Like I literally high. saw her walk this way. 
She liked Harry Potter. She did. <laughs> I like Harry Potter. I like Harry Potter too. She walked this way. Maybe she was trying to take you back to her first room. I don't know. Lamb's first room that she stayed in was 412. 412's this way. This was her original room, 412. So this is where she first came and then she moved to the um, other rooms with the other girls, right? There was like this was the shared room. This was the shared, this room? Was the shared room. So apparently there would have been like bunk beds in here. And what? she would have been in here with two other girls, so three people would stay in this room. This is tiny, oh, dude. Seen, yeah. I mean, honestly, if I would have seen like 30 bucks a night, I might have fucking stayed. Right, <laughs> right. I mean, yeah, this isn't bad, you know? She was leaving notes to the other girls that were staying here, and the notes would say, like, go home. I don't want you here. Leave. But the thing that really did it is one time she locked one of the girls out and was like, you can't come in unless you tell me the password. So she was already a little manic before she got switched to rooms. Yeah, because mania, you know, you kind of get, you do, you can get aggressive. Yo, your camera's going blurry in and out like, like four times. Really? Yep. I want to put this out and just see if anything triggers it. I feel like Elisa was like only in this room for like two days though. Yeah. And then she switched. We just see if anyone. I felt more on the fifth floor, but it doesn't. I mean, I saw her walking, so or I think it was her. Is there anyone here with us that wants to come and talk with us? Um, what was that? What was that? I don't know. That sounded like yeah. That was like a talk with us. Um, um, I heard that again. There's so many weird noises going on. That was like, yeah. I heard a, yeah. I don't think that was Elisa. No. <laughs> I don't either. That was someone. We only welcome spirits of love and light. Absolutely no negative entities are welcome in our space. I know we're in your territory, but we are claiming this space. Absolutely no negative entities are allowed to enter our space. Yo, your camera, sorry. As soon as you said negative space, your camera went super blurry and it came back. Really? Yeah. We just want to help you find your peace or answers. We know that there's been a lot of tragedy here. I just want to keep hearing people talking. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to use the spirit box, the link is down below in the description. Just be safe while you're using it. For calling out to spirits of love and light, absolutely no negative entities are to enter our space. Can you tell us your name, whoever's here with us? I swear to God, I, I heard Lisa. You heard Lisa, I right? didn't want to... There's someone here named Alice. Or Allison. Yeah. 
There's someone here. I don't know if it's Alice or Allison. Was that Elisa that Kelsey saw earlier? Elisa, were you trying to bring Kelsey here? What is she doing? I'm talking about going under. Yeah, I went under. Yeah. We have a box right here if you want to touch it. All you have to do is get close to it. It's not going to hurt you. But it will allow us to know that you're here. There's someone super adamant here. She died here. Alice. It's either Alice or Alice. I heard Alice. Did you die here? Alice, do you know Elisa? Alice is like... Alice, can you make that beep for us? You just have... Thank you, Alice. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you, I really, really appreciate that. We just want to give you a voice. We're here with the utmost respect. Can you tell us about you, Alice? We'd like to know more about you. She said she was around our age. She was young. Like around my age. I'm 24. I'm 25. Yeah. You're making me feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Alice, why are you at the hotel? She died here. That's a who? What? She died here. She died here. Mm -hmm. Alice, can you tell us how you died? She said, Mom called me Allison. Are we in danger here? Death door. What did that sound? That's outside. What is going on in this room? That's Elisa. I swear to God, that's Elisa. I heard Elisa. Allison, do you know what happened to Elisa? I heard yes. That was like a person. That was not the that app. Was, that was in that this was like room. that was in this room. I, heard that in I this swear room. to God, that was in this room. That was not the that was not the freaking app. That was that was not your phone. I'm sorry. That I was literally not heard that behind us. Me too. I swear to God. And I was staring at you. Oh my God. What happened to Elisa? Killed. 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 Was yes. Allison's coming. She is telling us what happened because she died. Before Elisa, like she died. I don't know. I want to say in the nineteen. That's Elisa. Elisa. That was clear. That, that was, was clear. Elisa. That was the clearest day. That was the clearest day, Elisa. This woman died here in like maybe nineteen sixties, seventies. Like I'm getting her hair is kind of the seventies vibe almost. Like yeah. Oh my god, I got the chills so bad. She's adamant that Elisa was killed. Maybe they know each other in some way, like in the afterlife is what I'm getting. Do you know if Elisa willingly got in the water tank? Can you tell us? I don't think she willingly got in that water tank. I just, I don't feel it. She's not like giving me a clear answer, but I don't feel like she did. Like she's protective of her. You know, like it's like something bad. It's not like she willingly did something. Like this woman's like defending her in a way is what I'm getting. Did someone take advantage of Elisa while she was staying here? What was that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Oh. It was like a scream. It was like a female scream. 
don't jump. A lot of people have jumped, you know. Can you touch the box if you're still here with us? I have a feeling they want us to go up. Up. Okay. Someone's just pointing. Then let's go up. Wow. That was insane. Allison. Should we look up like an Allison? Oh, you think there's like an Allison? Well, at least the land does have another floor above us. Right, right. I wonder if it was one of the names of one of the random roommates she had. I don't know. Or something. Oh, Allison, like, Cecil. Names. I don't know if we don't know names. any of the names of the roommates. Okay, we're looking up Allison Cecil Hotel just to see if... What? Oh, Allison. that scared me. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> what? Allison Lowen at the Doe... Lowell. The Doe Network death at the Cecil Hotel? What? Allison Lowell. But traumatic injury. 5'4", literally our height. We aged 20 to 30, around our age. She jumped from the window of the hotel in 1975. Oh, I said the 70s. What? That's Allison. <gasps> That's, That's who we're talking to. Allison Lowen. Lowell or Lowen? Wait, Lowell. Lowell. It's Lowell. Allison Lowell. Lowell. I said that, I literally said the 70s. Allison, can you please turn on this red button? If you're here with us now. Allison Lowell. <laughs> Yo, Kelsey, you again, Kelsey. <laughs> I scare myself. Yo, Kelsey, you scare me. I scare myself. Holy shit. What? We just talked we just talked to Allison Lowell, someone who jumped from this hotel. And it said don't jump. And it we heard a scream. Something. She knows something about Elisa. She does. It's crazy. That's, that's not even crazy. Maybe, that's out of this world. maybe she's... That's not a coincidence. That's crazy. No, maybe, I'm saying maybe she's so adamant about it because she ended her life here, you know, like she... But for Elisa, it's like she's... She didn't have a choice. Yeah, it's almost like she's like she didn't get to choose. Like she's like very protective of her. Yeah. I don't feel like she would if Elisa took her own life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Allison's good vibes, that's all I No, she share. was very kind. Yeah. She was. She was sad, you know, very depressed. She struggled with depression for a really long time is what I picked up on. And I don't know, I guess she jumped. So, so sad. So this was the last room she was seen alive. Yeah, this is the last room she was alive. And when I found her body, all of her belongings were still in the room. You guys go for it now. Kelsey. Kelsey's the brave one. Second final room. I think it's locked. You said that about Kelsey. I think it's locked. Maybe it is locked. I think it's actually locked. I think someone's in there. I think someone's staying in that room, so we don't want to, you know. Her cell phone was never found. Her cell phone was never found. Not with her body, it, not with her belongings. Really yeah, no one talks about her cell phone. You guys want to go to the roof? To the roof? To the water tanks? Yeah. yeah. I've been there once. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. My face. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's 5 when I got work. You got work? What time? I can smell much. I can go in whenever I want. Oh. To the 14th floor. We are on our way to the floor where Richard Ramirez resided. <laughs> he would ride up this elevator in bloody clothes coming up to his room, or people would see him changing outside. So I guess he murdered like around 14 people just while staying here. Guys, I just freaked out because. <laughs> I thought it was a person, so I got like, I got scared. I look right here and I see someone this tall walking with like light colored hair. Like it was like long gray whitish hair and they were walking this way. She looked like an older woman, but it scared the fuck out of me. It was like an older lady. She was this tall, like up to here. And she had like white hair, like white gray, like a witch. She looked like a witch. <laughs> what was she doing? She was just walking this way. 
So this is Richard Ramirez's room, but they took off the the number. Yeah, this is 14. Why did they take off the number? So it's probably, you want to put this that's, down? That's locked, locked. It's you can't even twist it. Yeah. It's kind of weird, like on the Queen Mary B340, they took down yeah, that they tag down because that. it was haunted and people, like they had a bad rep for that room. Yeah. We're going up to the roof. Okay. okay. I can't believe the water tank is literally right out there. She would have walked up this way, right? They said this is one of the ways she could have gone. But you know what? She could have gone to the fire. They also said she went up uh, on the 14th floor. The fire escape. There's a fire escape, which is terrifying. There's no way she would There's have gone There's no one in her right mind would ever do that. Yeah. Ever. Her body was found right outside this door. She could have walked up this way to her last moment. Someone could have taken her up here. We're gonna try to get some answers. We're here with the utmost respect for her. We're not here for like entertainment, you know, like we're here because we want to help find answers. And I want to know what really happened to her. I have helped find answers, you know, for other things. So we're hoping, you know, we can find some answers for her. We're calling out to Elisa Lamb. Um, if you want to come through, or if anyone would like to speak for her, if anyone knows what happened to Elisa, we just want answers. We want to give you a chance. Elisa. Uh, Elisa Lamb is here. Can you cross the rods in my hands? I have a whole list of questions that I wrote out to see if we can try to get the simplest answers. What happened just to Elisa? Please just point it. Wow. Elisa, yes. I want to know. You have to say it. Let's fucking tell these people. If this is happened. Elisa Lamb, can you cross the dowsing rods? Holy shit, that was funny. I think she's here with us. I think she's too. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. If you want to speak through the spirit box, if you want to share your truth, you can tell the world what happened to you. They were my last days. Did you meet someone? A man? And what? And they can't hear. We can hear you. I know you're frustrated. In the lobby. There's a time. Thank you. Did someone follow you into the lobby? Did you meet someone? And then it says, my dad, she's influencer. Us. <laughs> it almost sounds like she's reliving her last mm -hmm. days. Like Mackenzie was saying last days, you know, it's like she's reliving it. I tried to talk. I wonder if she's talking about mean girls that were like influencers and she was trying awesome. to like make friends or something and they were just being rude to her. I don't know. Do you want to talk to us? We all do. Do you guys all want to talk to us? There were covers. Covers. Whoa. Probably to get there. Did someone cover you up? I won't do that. Did someone hurt you and then cover it up? I just feel a lot of frustration, just like resentment, a lot of anger, just very frustrated. Like she's not heard, she's not heard and she didn't ever feel heard by people. Did someone kill you, Elisa? You'll find me. They found you. You've been yes. found. Do you know that you've been found? I can't find a way out. They found you. Protection. You were on the news. They did find you. I know that you're a little bit confused, but we can help you. Memorial. We can help you find the light if you need.
Do you want us to help you find the light? Now's the time. Seriously. There's a good place you can go, Elisa. Better than this place. Good morning. It is the morning. 30. 30. Did not. I'm not leaving. Shower. Your closet. Elisa, can you come back to me? A freeloader. Can you come back to me, please? I know you're angry. I know you're upset. You have every right to be. You can find peace, though. Which hides the... That stairs, like, shook. Like, it felt like a stump. What? What's it happen? No. Like, stuck. Twice. Like, two big bangs. Like, fucking silent. She's like, upset. She is so mad. There's another one. What is that? Yo. It went completely What's silent that? in the head. Someone's whining in the back. I heard that. I literally heard that. It sounded like someone was in, like, it sounded like it was someone was inside of something, like the water tank. Like, We're banging like out, trying was... to bang. Call for help? Again? I think someone, I think someone just shoved her in there. I think she was a thousand percent murdered. She's angry. She's upset. You know, you felt it. It's just like she's stuck. She's stuck reliving it, reliving it, reliving it. She's just stuck in this cycle, and it's so hard to get them out of it sometimes. I'm just not, like, experienced oh enough to get her out Did of it. Did that keep going off? You went off, like, three times while you had this one's on. Yeah. I feel like we should go a little bit longer. It's like I keep losing her. I'm getting her a little bit, and then she goes back to um, that cycle. That's and you ask her if she was willingly put in the water tank? Yeah. Or if she got in it herself? And, like, does she remember? She's you mad. You can ask any of She's questions. mad you even asked that. So she 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 did not willingly get in the water tank. No, hundred percent not. But no. she was stuck in there. I think she was dead before she went. She was stuck in there. She was stuck in the water tank. I think they put her in there alive. You think? All I heard was about one thing I heard for sure was I'm wet. I think that that like some. Unless her spirit was just like looking at her body, you know, like in yeah. the water tank. I don't know. I have no idea. I feel like we should just go a little bit more. Yeah, we could ask any of The banging questions. stopped. Yeah, that's, 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 that's insane. Like, what was that? I swear to God, I heard a woman. I swear to God, I heard a woman. Like a woman. Like, what was that? Insane. What was that? I heard a woman. Seriously, I heard a woman. Were you trying to hide some from someone in the no elevator? Time. Did you see someone that made you nervous in the elevator? Better. Another Please bang. call. That was another man. It's okay. Do you remember going I'm up? Fucking laughing. Do you remember going up to the roof that night? I'm gone. Elisa, can you talk to us a bit longer? We just need it. We need to find answers yes. for you. We want to just help you move on and move past this. Oh if there's God, a light, the I know you're angry. I know. The Lord, I was just thinking. Go to that, that place, closer, you can closer. go to that light. There's a place you can go, there's a, a better place. You just have to find that peace and accept well, you care. It. We care, that's why we're here. It happened at night. Tonight will be. Did someone kill you? For something else. Were you robbed? He said, Did the man work here? Help. 52. Was the man 52 years old? 9 p.m. 
were the black basketball shorts you were wearing at the Cecil your shorts? Or were those some the man? Were those the man's shorts? There were boxes. They know. Is the person who you're talking about, the man, is he still alive? You could save one man. If four? Can you find the light? Can you Lover. find that peace? Did someone betray you? All night. 65 or older. We gotta leave. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we gotta leave right now. Yeah, we gotta go. We gotta go through the back door, though. Yeah, we gotta leave. We said we can't yeah. anything. From what I feel, I think. What was that bag? I think that maybe there was someone that she maybe was flirting with her, maybe was coming on to her that was older. That I feel like we were just getting something. That maybe killed her or was involved, you know? I asked her a bunch of those questions. So. Thank you so much for talking with us. I really, really, really appreciate it. I hope we can help you find peace. And if there's a light, I just hope you can, you can find it and find that forgiveness and find that peace and that love and just let go of what happened. Gosh, we can help more. I just, she's stuck. She's just in this loop and it's so hard to get her out of it. The clouds, guys. I feel like happy like with the, the clouds. Here. We're just gonna slam to the <laughs> No, Joey. <laughs> Goodbye, Cecil. I cannot believe we came in here, spoke to Elisa, spoke to other people who have died in this hotel. Goodbye, Cecil. Maybe we'll be back. We survived the Cecil Hotel. It is the morning. So we were there from night to what morning. What does she know or what does she do so bad? Yeah, it is 6 a.m. He knows the whole damn story. Yeah, so dude. Make it make sense. watching the Netflix series, that's right. Make it make sense. Ladies and gentlemen, um, there is a certain word that's called make it make sense. Yeah, make it make, make, it make sense. Make it make sense that I just met somebody and I stole their whole wardrobe. Make that make sense. Hashtag make it make sense. Make it make the sense, whole, guys. The whole point of that is you want to communicate and show LOVE to try to, um, you know, accumulate, right? Relationships in life. That's how you communicate. That's how you network, amen? Amen. You don't take nobody up top or do somebody wrong, but today is a good day because technology had it to where you can understand somebody's body language and face expression. Right. So with that being said is, it's okay to be intelligent, to be aware is to be alive. So that's just a note of knowledge this morning, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, all Thank across the United States of America. Thank you. Make it make, sense. Make, it make sense, guys. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe we helped a little bit find some answers. I wish we could have found more, but um, that was, we're that speechless. Was, yeah. And Joey has to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's like, I gotta go to work. I'm like, that sucks. I'm going to bed. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that Elisa Lamb gets justice one day. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to myself as well as my friends. And hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I post. And I will see you guys in my next video.